So Mark, how's the trip going so far? Well, daughter Audrey, uh, it's going really well. We are heading to St. Louis on this little short leg. It's kind of long leg. Uh, we have coffee and we're awake. And so far, no Hurricane Laura. So awesome. And I'm so happy to be traveling with you. Woo! We're in Kansas now. Once you get into Rocky Mountain National Park um, and realize that the history of this park um, as a national park began in 1915 in Old Fall Road, um, that it was built in 1921 by convicts, you're really going to be impressed. This is a one-way, 15 mile an hour, over 10 mile long uh, road over the Continental Divide. Um, tons of sites along the way, including waterfalls, some great hikes, but also a great variety of wildlife, including bighorn sheep, marmots, elk, deer, bear, you name it, it's there. The road itself climbs uh, above the tree line through ancient uh, glacier carved valleys. The views are incredible, picture taking is fantastic. Um, but once you get real high, um, like where you can see the top of the mountain, you'll find the Alpine Visitor Center. And that's a great place to take a look at too because you can get out, take a walk, and explore what it's like at 12,000 feet. The Alpine Visitor Center is uh, really something, and it's at the top of the continent, basically. It's 12,005 feet. You can get out, you can take a look at the tundra, uh, you can explore. There's a great little trail behind the parking lot um, it is a bit of a trek, but it's well worth uh, the view and well worth losing your breath. Even the insects like it. We are at Rock Cut on the road, and um, this is uh, extremely windy. Red flag warnings, but um, it is amazing. We did Rock Falls Road, uh, Rock Falls Road, and now we're on Trail Ridge, and I'm a pika. You'll see the pika scurrying around. The elevation hasn't really affected me too much, but we're definitely in the tundra I'm looking for marmots. We're taking a little evening stroll after dinner. It is really spectacular out here. There's still some sun on the higher altitudes, but within this little valley, it's getting nice and dark. We've had a full day. To the top of the mountains, 12,000 feet, almost 14,000 feet, and there's some more deer. Pretty cool, they just come right through the campground. Elk, deer, it's great here. As the day winds down, the campground offers a wonderful opportunity to wind down uh, and get ready for some rest for the next day. Whether it's clouds rolling over mountains, a rainbow nearly touching the earth within the campground, uh, this place is magical. As we get up in the morning and head out to Sky Pond, we're greeted by a herd of elk. It's obviously just something you don't see every day. And it really was a wonderful way to wake up on our way to Bear Lake. Today is Monday, the 31st of August, and uh, we are heading to Sky Pond, which is an alpine pond. Uh, it's a strenuous climb. It's about nine miles um, in and out, so that's total. And uh, there's a bit of a rock climb next to a waterfall. We've got Audrey and Jesse 
<laughs> and if we survive this, uh, we'll have uh, accomplished quite a bit. I think the gain, I think, is about 1800 Whatever you do, make sure you stop and take plenty of pictures because the landscape is so unique. So you've got these little rodents screwing for food. And then you look back here, which is amazing. You've got one of the largest herbivores in North America. It's, um, it's a young bull elk and he's feeding on the spruce. And this is like literally right off this trail. It's amazing. How's the trail so far? I'm loving it. Uh, <laughs> back to our, back to our cool. friend. Just the, the variety of color, it's amazing. Wow. Audrey, what do you think about the falls? Yeah. Jesse, what do you think? Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. And the trail is not bad. Um, they say it's strenuous. I don't think it's too strenuous. Um, most of the trail so far, just under two miles, was pretty flat. Now we're dealing with some uh, some boulders, but uh, the elevation is good. My watch says we're at 9,250. We're leveling off at uh, 10,000, so maybe a little more than 10. The weather is um, in the low 60s. We woke up fresh. We decided just to do it because um, we felt like we couldn't do it tomorrow with time. Uh, we wanted to take at least seven hours in this. We packed everything we could to stay warm, some gloves, and uh, be prepared. Three miles in, um, feels good so far. We didn't know we'd be able to make it this far. Um, and the people that are coming down so far say that the falls aren't wet, so it should be easier to climb. So, uh, Things are looking beautiful. We're definitely closer to the, the timber line, the tundra. We're definitely near Glass Lake. And then we have the climb after that. And then we make it to Sky Pond. Audrey is my navigator today. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm concentrating on stepping. Oh, loving this down, huh? So we made it to Lock Vale. And, uh, um, the water's clear. Uh, you can see the, the hikers um, moving uh, alongside the, the lock. We've got another, I'd say 500 feet to go, I don't know, um, to uh, get to Sky Pond, but we're headed that way. We were right behind Lake of Glass, um, just underneath it, we're hiking up that trail. Um, Basically, let's see if I can see it, around this ledge and up. And way up there, way up there, is the Lake of Glass. And above that is Sky Pond. I hear pika behind me somewhere. Every once in a while, I'm sure there's marmots up here too. We're um, just at the ridge line.
we um, we made it to the glass lake and unfortunately it looks like it's gonna rain it was it was um, blowing pretty hard and we decided to bail on Sky Pond. Yep. Oh, he's running, he's running. With strawberry right there. Oh my god. Get it? Oh my god. So a little disappointed, uh, but really happy we completed most of the hike. We set off the camp to get rest for the next day in Estes Park. Here's Johnny. We we're in Estes Park, and uh, we decided that we're going to try uh, the Wild Rose because they have a lot of really good food. Here with Jesse, and uh, we are in the middle of Estes Park. How is it? Great. Awesome. We had some, uh, some killer food. What was it? Rosies or something? Wild Rose. Wild Rose. Definitely recommend it. Um, if you can see behind me, this place is just an extraordinary town. We're here on a Monday. Monday? Uh, no, it's Tuesday. 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 Time flies. And it's wonderful. It's a great break from the park. Not that I needed one, but it's a great break from the park. Uh, a lot of stuff you can buy, but a lot of good different food if you're, you've been eating like... Uh, Lots of ice cream and candy. There you go. Not that I'm doing that if you're watching this and you happen to be working with my doctor's office. Estes Park is quite amazing. Um, my van, just to give you an idea, I don't get hit by a car here, is um, my van is right there and there's a stream that runs through the park. So if you're ever here, in, uh, in Estes Park uh, and you really want to see some wildlife like in the middle of Estes Park. Um, not only are there hawks, but in this little area uh, right here, this is where a ton of elk were earlier in the day. Um, and it's just an amazing spot. I'm here on the moraine and the campground is up the hill that way and on the other side of the campground is the moraine. It has a ton of elk out there right now and I'm going to do some photography for this is their last day in, uh, in the Rocky Mountains and we had a great time. You can see in the moraine uh, the elk herd and they're not the greatest uh, in terms of what I can pick up with this camera but they're pretty far out there but I'm going to take some nice stills maybe I'll share one or two on the, the final cut <laughs> <laughs> 